Metatarsal head osteonecrosis is a condition that is more commonly seen in female adolescent athletes with a female to male ratio of approximately 4 to 1. It is most frequently observed in patients aged 13 to 18 years and typically affects the second metatarsal head, particularly the dorsal aspect. Risk factors for this condition include having long second metatarsals. The pathophysiology is thought to be related to a disruption in blood supply due to microtrauma or osteonecrosis, leading to eventual collapse of the second metatarsal head. The Smilly classification system categorizes metatarsal head osteonecrosis into five stages based on radiographic findings. In the early stages, subchondral fractures may only be visible on MRI, while in later stages, there may be collapse of the dorsal metatarsal head and joint space narrowing. Patients typically present with forefoot pain, swelling, and stiffness localized to the head of the second metatarsal, which worsens with weight-bearing activities. Physical examination may reveal periarticular swelling and limitations in motion at the second metatarsophalangeal joint. Imaging studies, such as radiographs and MRI, can help in diagnosing metatarsal head osteonecrosis. Radiographs may show subchondral sclerosis in early disease and joint destruction in late disease, while MRI may reveal patchy edema in the metatarsal head. Non-operative treatment options include activity limitations, NSAIDs, and immobilization, particularly in the early stages of the disease. Operative interventions are rarely indicated, but may include metatarsophalangeal arthrotomy with removal of loose bodies, dorsal closing wedge osteotomy, or Duvry's arthroplasty in severe cases. Metatarsophalangeal arthrotomy with removal of loose bodies is a surgical technique that may be considered in cases where extensive non-operative management has failed. This approach involves accessing the lesser toe metatarsophalangeal joint and may include procedures such as drilling of the metatarsal head, subchondral bone grafting, and interposition arthroplasty using the extensor digitorum longus tendon. It is important to avoid metatarsal head resection as it can lead to increased loads on adjacent metatarsal heads. In conclusion, metatarsal head osteonecrosis is a condition that primarily affects female adolescent athletes and is characterized by the collapse of the second metatarsal head. Early diagnosis and appropriate management, including both non-operative and operative interventions, are essential in addressing this condition and preventing further joint damage. Surgeons should carefully consider the stage of the disease and individual patient factors when determining the most appropriate treatment approach.